I can't believe you went through all of that, Paulina. I am sincerely sorry. Yeah, that's my story, but I'm fine. Now, I understand why you did what you did, but that guy is a jack. I mean, he was so wrong to have treated you the way that he did. That is unacceptable. I know, Prince. Anyways, that's my past. I don't want us dwelling on it. So what about you, Prince? What's your story? It's not like yours, Paulina. Is everything alright, Paulina? You seem distracted. I just saw someone, but never mind. I'm listening to your story. Did you see your dad at the bus section, or? My dad? <laughs> you are kidding, right? See, don't worry about who I saw. I really have to take this call, Paulina. I'll be right back. Prince has been going in and out to take calls continuously. But isn't that Mr. Rochas the man who comes for the Rochas recipe? Why is he drinking so much bottles? He doesn't seem too okay to me. Bring me another bottle. I need more. Mr. Rochas, good evening, sir. I don't know if you remember me. Are you also working here in this bar? Paulina, right? I am Paulina, sir. I see you still remember me. You shouldn't be doing so many jobs, Paulina. I mean, don't you work in the restaurant all day? And now you're also working here. I don't work here, sir. Sir, I think you've had more than enough bottles already. What did you say? I don't feel so well. I think I'm going to throw up. Finally, she's um, I, I thought, thought you were. Hello, Dokaz. What, what the hell are you doing here, Don? What, what are you doing in my house? I'm here to see Paulina. Where is she? Call her out for me. What's wrong with you? Are you in your, your own right thing? Come, come to my, my house, house by this time, time of the night. night. I really need to talk to Paulina. Call her. I, I can't see you are actually drunk. I'm, I'm going, going to ask you to leave my house. house. Why right now? No, far away than alarm. I guess she's still out on that stupid date with that man of hers, right? I don't have time for all this. You don't need to do that, Dokas. I'm going to leave, but tell Paulina that she's mine and I'm hers, and I'm going to get her back. What, what are, are you thinking, thinking Don? Don? See, just, just get, get out, out of my, my house, house already. already. She's mine, my own lover. I mean, I love her so much. You, you can, can tell her all that, that by yourself, Don. But don't you just tell her your, your foot, foot here yeah, again. again. Tell her I love her, Dokas. Tell her, please, and tell her that I'll be back for her. What the hell is wrong with him? Caught. I'm too scared for a moment. I thought he's going to harm me. I need to keep locking this door, lest he will come in another time more drunk than this. Coco is purring on your back. Thank you, Lina. Thank you so much. Who can I call for you? So the person will come and cater for you. Your maid? I have no maid. I'm sure you do, sir. Maybe you didn't understand what I asked for. I mean, the person that takes care of you, your housekeeper. Or your loving wife. I have no one and I don't want anyone around. I just want to be all by myself. I don't want anyone around me anymore. But Eunice, my darling Eunice. So I'm not sure it would be advisable for you to spend your time here alone. You are not quite okay to me. Stop acting like you care about me. You know what? You are even too young to understand all that's wrong with me. Mr. Richards, can you give me someone's number so I can call the person to come over? Maybe a friend or your son or daughter. Eunice. Eunice, can you see what has happened to me now? Can you see it all, Eunice? Tessa left me. She, she left me all alone. I didn't even do anything wrong to her. I treated her right and always tried to make her feel better. Sir, please, can you give me Eunice or Tessa's number so I can call them to come over? Go home, Paulina. I'm going to be fine by myself. I'll just drink myself to bed. That's what can help me in all of this situation. Sir, you have had too much to drink already. I don't think it would be a wise decision for you to still drink more alcohol. Go home. Stop acting like you actually care about me, Tessa. You only care about yourself all along. You never loved me for once, Tess. Not even after I broke my promise to Eunice. You walked out on me. You, you walked out on me. Mr. Richards. Oh, shut up, Tessa. Keep your mouth shut. You know what? I'm not going to let you leave this house. You can't just come into my life and leave whenever you like. Eunice did it and I couldn't stop her, but I'm going to stop you. Mr. Richards. Sir, you can't lock the door. I need to go home. Mr. Richards. Mr. Richards. You are not going to leave my life. I'm not letting you, Tessa. You are staying here with me. I'm talking to you. Who are you? Paulina, what are you doing here? Please don't come near me. Please don't. Just open the door for me to leave. What happened? 
Mr. Rochas, please just open the door. I want to leave. I want to go home. I just want to go home. Paulina, Paulina, wait. Who was that lady? And why did she run out the way she did? I can't remember what happened here, Ben. I don't even know why she's here. I mean, I'm confused right now. What do you mean you don't remember what happened here? I woke up this morning and found myself naked on the bed. I dressed up and came outside to see the young lady in my house. That means you went out yesterday night, right? You went to get drunk, despite all the warnings I gave you, Charles. Wait, does this mean I slept with Paulina? You will be able to remember everything clearly. You weren't supposed to have alcohol in your system with the medication you are taking. I slept with her? What? God, I can't believe I did that. No. Do you know her? I mean, what is she even doing here? Where is she, Susan? 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 Susan isn't here. I lied to you. She didn't come in yesterday. Damn. So all these times in the hospital when you were making the phone calls to the housekeeper, you were lying. All of that doesn't matter, Ben. I took advantage of that young girl. I think, I think I saw her in the bar. And I don't really... Damn me! What have I done, Ben? What's wrong, Paulina? Why are you crying? And where have you been? You forced this step on me, Doctor. What? You may prove it that to you. Oh my God. We have to go to the police station right now. No, Prince, Mr. Rogers. He took advantage of me. He mistook me for her. Who is the hell is Mr. Rogers? I thought you went out with Prince. Yes, I went out with Prince, but there was this man there. I... Let's go to the police station. No, Lucas, I don't think I want to go to the station. My body aches. My whole body just hurts. Polina, is there something you are not telling me? Didn't you say this man forced himself on you? I am sure if we go to the station, there will be a trace of his... The man inside of you. He was hurting the guy. She was in so much pain. I felt he lacks love just like me. Balina. I don't want to go to the police station. Please don't force me on this, please. Okay, Balina. So what do you want to do? I don't know, Dokas. I don't know. Why didn't you call me or pick my calls? I would have come over. I don't even know where my phone is. I must have left it in his car. Wait, you mean you followed him home? I am not getting the old pictures yet. There's a lot of grey areas in this story, Paulina. What happened? If what you told me is what really happened, I think you took advantage of her. I didn't mean to, Ben. I don't even know if what I'm saying is exactly what happened. Because I can't really remember it all. The whole picture will come to you. But what else can you remember? Tessa, Eunice, I remember calling all of their names. And I was so angry with everything that happened to me. And in ways, I blame you too. You blame me? What did I do? If only all of you didn't put the idea of Tessa in my head, I wouldn't have done none of this. None of this would have happened. Richards, come on. No one expected Tessa would turn out to be this way. She was so sweet and nice towards all of us, most especially you. I need to find Paulina. I need to go and talk to her. I'm sure she will be able to tell me everything that happened. I think you owe her an apology. And you also need to stop drinking. You can't blame me for drinking. I'm going out. Why aren't you picking your call? I don't want to talk to anyone, most especially Charlie. You can't be angry at your son, Richards. You can't blame him for all of this. I mean, you can't blame any one of us. I'm not having this conversation, Ben. I'll see you when I'm back. Prince. Paulina, I am really sorry about yesterday. I know you are pissed at me for not coming back to the table, but I had some emergencies to attend to and I couldn't come back. So you left me there? I am really sorry, Paulina. I didn't mean to. I have been calling your number over and over. Prince. I know you are busy at work right now, but believe me when I say that I am not lying to you. It was an emergency that couldn't wait. Fine, Prince, I've heard you. I need to attend to other customers right now. What do you say? I make it up to you with another date. I promise you that I will not disappoint or attend to any emergencies. I'll think about it. Why are you here, Mr. Richards? I came to apologize to you, Paulina. See, I don't have any excuse for doing what I did. But believe me when I say I'm not that kind of man, and I regret my actions. Are you done? I need to go and attend to some customers inside. I know, but Paulina, please, can you tell me what happened last night? I can't seem to remember everything. What are you saying, sir? Do you mean to tell me you don't remember how you locked the door and pushed me to the floor right there in the living room? Oh my god. No, no, Paulina, please, I'm sorry. I'm so ashamed. Do you still need me to tell you all about it, or do you remember it all now?
I can't remember it all. I am on a medication that doesn't require alcohol in my system and a combination of it with alcohol makes me to forget most things that happened the previous day. I know you're not an alcoholic drinker. You were trained up in the bar, but why were you drinking? I think I remember you coming to talk to me. You said I was drinking too much, right? And and I don't know. My memory is shallow. But Paulina, I'm sorry for everything that happened. I'm really sorry. I've heard you, sir. I need to get back to work. I need my salary intact this month. I see. But why are you working here, Paulina? Shouldn't you be in school or probably learning a skill? I'm just saying. I need to go back to the restaurant, sir. I'll let you go back. But after you answer my question, why are you not in school? I don't have the money to go to school. What about your parents? Don't tell me both of them are dead. Sir, I need to get back to work. What if I tell you that I'm the owner of the restaurant? And that's why there's a special recipe called the Rochers recipe. And there's also another recipe called the Eunice recipe. What? I bought this restaurant the day my wife died. And I did that to preserve her memory. Because during her lifetime, we celebrated every one of our memories here. Eunice or Tessa, which of them? I see I mentioned their names. Eunice, that's my one and only true love. Mom, I have something to tell you. What is it, darling? I hope it's not concerning your resort, because on dad, I can't help you this time around. You know your dad is going to be mad at you. It's not my resort, mom. It's concerning Paulina. What about Paulina? Have you gone to talk to her and call me back home? I haven't, mom. I don't even want her home. I mean, she's the reason for you and dad's argument. At least now that she's not home, everywhere is peaceful. Your dad won't like this what you are saying. Just make sure that you don't say this to him. You know how much he loves Paulina. I'm not sure he would love her as much as he used to when he finds out that she works in the club. I think you're mistaken. Paulina works in a restaurant. I've been there Mommy, to see I'm her. I'm not lying to you. I saw it with my own very eyes. Paulina works in a club. Are you sure about this information? Yes, mom. She sleeps with men for money. I have the video in my phone when she went to meet a man. Mom, not just a young man, an older man. What? Beauty, I don't believe these stuff you're saying. I'll play the video for you to see. I know you and dad have been praising her for working and trying to take care of herself by getting an honest job. But this isn't an honest job, mom. Show me the video, beauty. I was also wondering why she hasn't come back home. Cause, I mean, a salary can't afford her a house or take care of her bills. I can't believe you actually went through all of that, Paulina. I'm sorry. Yeah, but it's fine. I'm okay. But I'm promising you one thing. Now that you know me, I'm going to make sure I give you the best kind of care and attention that you could have ever imagined. I haven't said anything to your request, sir. I know, but I really wish you would think about it. At least, let me try to do this little act of kindness towards you. Why do you want to help me, sir? Because you deserve to be helped. I mean, all this while, I never knew anything about you. But now that I know your story, I want to be a positive part of your story. And I want to apologize for my mistakes towards you. I have forgiven you already, sir. Is that your roommate? I noticed you were looking at her as she walked in. She's the person that I've been staying with. I told you she offered me shelter when I had nowhere to turn to. That's true. I remember she must be a really good person. I hope you two haven't been having issues. No, she's a really nice person. Who was that wedding man you were talking to? How do you know he's wealthy, Dokas? Don't tell me you have already sized this pocket just from looking at him. I know he's ready from his car. Do you know that car was just released two months ago? I don't know much about cars. So who is he? And what were you two talking about for so long? That's Mr. Rogers, the man who I told you I, I spent the night over with at his place. That's the man who took advantage of you. Yeah, that's Mr. Richards. He came to look for me at my place of work and then we started talking. Turns out he's even the owner of the place I work. Can you believe that? Damn, now I think I know why you didn't want to go to the police station. He threatened you, right? He didn't do nothing like that. Mr. Richards isn't that kind of man. Is that so? So what kind of man forces himself and a young girl, lock the door on her and... A man in a lot of pain. A man who is hurting a lot from his loss of love. I totally understand him way better now. You know you have been covering up for this man even after he took advantage of you do you like him or what exactly i'm just saying i understand him now after listening to his story and what will i be doing with mr rogers he's old enough to be my dad age doesn't mean nothing so fast he's going to be paying you money you want to even ask him for money as compensation for what he did to you 
Like I didn't have to. You already have had to take care of all my needs, including my school fees. Are you serious, girl? I didn't know you were this smart. I guess you are learning so fast. But how did this happen? We got talking and he asked me some questions about myself. Trust me, I told him everything. The whole story and he wasn't happy with all I've gone through. He felt pity for me and said he would take care of me if I allowed him. All of this seems too good to be true. But I hope there are no conditions attached to this. No conditions, Dockers. And even if it were to be a condition, what would it be? Many dawns and many nights. I swear to you now, it'll be for. I'm here already, sir. I can't see you, sir. Hello, Paulina. I hope it wasn't quite hard for you to locate here. It wasn't, sir. Is this one of your numerous buildings? Yes, it is. What do you think of this place? Or would you like to look around before making a conclusion? Right from the gate, I could tell that it was beautiful. It's a lovely place, sir. I have told you to stop calling me, sir. Stick with Rochas. You are making me feel old by always calling me, sir. Everything is yes, sir, yes, sir. I can't possibly call you by your name, sir. I will give you an assignment, Paulina. And do you know what that is? You have to find me a new name that you'll be comfortable calling me with. <laughs> hey, okay, mister. You definitely aren't choosing me star for my name. I don't like it. I'll look for a unique thing that you like then. Walk around the house and check the rooms. Let me know your thoughts on it. Everything is just perfectly fixed. This is a beautiful house. I like it. That's the statement I'm waiting for. Well, Paulina, this is your new apartment. What? Yes, this is your new apartment. I'm saying this again for you to hear, so you don't ask me to repeat myself again. I don't want you living with your friend anymore. She can also move in with you if you like. This is my new apartment. I can't believe this. You better believe it. It's an early birthday gift, darling Paulina. And have you decided on the school you want to apply for? Please, let's take it one at a time. I need to digest this information you just said. I'll give you time to digest information while I take my leave now. You are leaving already. I need to sort some things. However, my driver will stay behind to help you bring your bags over. But I think you don't need those old clothes anymore. I'll get you new ones. Oh my god, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. No one has ever done something like this for me. Thank you, sir. Stop thanking me. Remember we are going to watch a movie in the cinema tonight? Yes. Yes, of course, sir. I don't like this, sir, sir. I hope you find a perfect name for me before the end of the day. I'll see you later, Paulina. Desert stars in the night. And wild like you and I and we've always trusted the music Please, what is your prize? Good morning, Dockers. I hope you are doing very fine. I am. You are here to see Paulina, I guess, but she's not home. She's not home. I thought I would meet her home, Dockers. I have been going to her place of work, but the staff said that she had resigned. Yeah, that's true, but haven't you guys talking on phone? She has changed her phone number, I guess, because whenever I call, it always switched off. I am sorry to hear that. Can you please help me with her new number so that I can call her or maybe her address so I can go over and see her? I am very sorry, Prince, but I can't do that. I have been coming here for quite some time now. You have to think of that, Dockers. Please, at least give me a number or address. The best I can do for you is to tell her to call you. She might not call me, Dockers. I know she's still pissed that I left her all alone in the bar and went to attend to an emergency. You were wrong to have done that, leaving her all alone on a date to attend to an emergency. What was even the emergency? It was a family emergency. Are you married? Because I don't understand a family emergency. My mom is sick and most times she needs someone next to her. I mean, that is why my phone is always ringing. I bet you that it's my sister calling. Did you tell her about this? I didn't have the opportunity to, although I wanted to, but we have not seen since I left her at the bar to attend to my mom. Your blood pressure is at a normal range. I'm impressed. I bought her a house, Ben. Who are you referring to? Paulina or your other mistress? Which other mistress are you referring to, Ben? I told you I wasn't going to do anything with Ella, and I didn't. Man, I'm not you. I hear you, man. So who did you buy a house for? Paulina, I bought her an apartment in her name. Although, I didn't tell her it's in the house. You are getting way too attached to that girl. And isn't it too early for you to start buying her stuffs, like a house to her name? I just like her, Ben. And she makes me happy. You know I enjoy every moment we spend together. Talking, going out. Like, her mind is really vast. I'm glad you're happy, but buying her a house in her name is a big no for me. It's my money, Ben. 
I'm going to spend it as I like on whomever pleases me. I won't make the same mistake I did with Tessa. So you think buying now a house will prevent the same mistake? Ben, we are going to watch a movie tonight. Are you interested in joining us? A movie? You've got to be kidding me. Please, whose idea was this movie stuff? My idea, Ben. I'm just trying to make the best out of life. You are acting different, Richards. This is just so unlike you. Don't tell me you are falling in love. No, Ben. I'm not falling in love with Paulina. You keep denying it, but I see love in your eyes and your actions. But have you told Paulina about this? I really can't believe that Mr. Kochas got this apartment for you, girl. Can you believe your eyes, Dokas? I mean, this is my apartment. My place. I have never been this lucky with men. How did you do this, Paulina? I don't know. I mean, I already told you the whole stuff and how it happened. Paulina, don't lie to me. Are you sleeping with him? No, Dokas. He hasn't even made any attempt to touch me. Not for once in all our outings. Are you serious? Like, nothing. Nothing. No peck or kiss. I'm not lying to you, we both got nothing together, but he doesn't like the father that I call him sir, he's been asking for another name. Like, dad, daddy, daddy. You are not serious, I can't call him daddy, I'm sure you'll be pissed, so just something else. Why don't you call him MJ? I mean, he's been like an angel to you ever since he came into your life, or am I lying? Angel, I think I like that, or daddy bunny. Don't include the daddy. You know you don't yet know his intention for you. I mean, what if you want to get serious with you after everything? Are you going to agree or not? I think about this at times, and I really don't know. How do you feel about him? You know, you can tell me, I won't judge you. I think I'm having feelings for him. I haven't had anyone take care of me like this or show me a genuine type of love. Do you know when, whenever he comes to stay over, he cooks breakfast early in the morning before I wake up. He sleeps here and nothing has happened between you two. He does at times. Daddy Bonnie might have other plans for you girls, but he doesn't want to tell you yet. Hello Prince, good afternoon. Paulina, this is Paulina, right? Yes, Princess Paulina. Dokas told me about how you've been coming over to the house. I have been trying to get in touch with you, Paulina, but it seems like you have shut me off from all corners and I deserve it for leaving you the way I did. I didn't shut you off, Prince. I misplaced my phone number and I lost your number. You shut me out, babe. There was no way for me to reach you, whether at work or at home. I even asked Dokas for your number, but she didn't give me. I'm sorry on all that. Well, Dokas is the reason for my call to you. She told me how you've been asking around for me and also told me about your mom. I'm sorry to hear that. Paulina, believe me when I say I wouldn't have left if it wasn't an emergency. But why didn't you say something about your mom to me? I mean, I thought we were getting to know each other. I am sorry. I didn't mention it before. Please, Paulina, can we see again? I'll think about it and give you a call. Okay, I will look forward to your call, but I will give you a call later. Okay, bye. Gentle and wild like you and I. We You've not told me what you think about the school yet. I like both schools and it's like hard to pick one. So why don't you make the selection instead? Well, both schools are known for academic excellence. You know my son was supposed to attend one of them before he decided that he wanted to leave the country. Really? Well, I guess I'll let you pick the one I'll attend. I'll pick the one that's most closer to the house. I don't want you too far from me. And why is that? Just like that, Paulina. I want you around me. I love your positive vibe and energy. And you know, whenever I'm with you, I'm so relaxed. I will definitely choose the school that's closer to the house with all these words you're saying to me and thank you Angel for everything again. What? What do you think of me, Paulina? What do you mean? I don't quite get the question. If I wanted to kiss you, Paulina, would you allow me or would you see it as I'm taking advantage of you because of everything I've done for you? I... I... You don't say anything. I understand you. What do you understand, Rogers? Your official expression already told me the answer. I bet he sent the wrong response. Well, if you want to kiss me, I'll let you kiss me. <laughs> I know you're only saying this because you don't want to offend me. But not to worry. I've watched you for a while and I know you're a very good girl. And that's why I'm here for you. Thank you, Angel. Hello, Paulina. What are you doing here? Mom, good evening, Ma. And who is this man? Don't tell me this is the reason you left home. To be hanging out with men and sleeping around with them for money, is that it? No, Mommy. You don't even go out with men of your age, but older men. Tell me something. Were you sleeping with my husband right under my nose? What? No, Mom. No, never. I'll never do that. And you shameless man, what are you doing with a young girl like this? Shouldn't you be embarrassed of yourself taking advantage of this young girl? Mommy, please don't talk to him like that. I am giving you 24 hours to come back home. Did you hear me? 24 hours. I'm very sorry about what happened, Richards. I'm sorry. 
I think we should go home already. Richard didn't seem happy throughout our drive back to the house. He barely said a word to me. I just hope in my heart that he forgives me for mom's statement. I am sorry I couldn't come earlier. I have some stuff to clear. So what happened? Exactly what I told you on phone, Docas. I'm just in an off mood right now. Do you know? Rogers didn't say anything to me till we go home. He was just quiet. He must be thinking on everything. Your mom said, but what's that woman's problem? Isn't it enough that she chased you out of the house? I mean, what else did she want? I'm not going back home, Docas. No matter what they say or do, I'm here with Rogers. You better not go home. Stay here. I made the best use of this opportunity you've got with your guardian angel. Docas, please don't laugh at my words. But I think I'm falling in love with angel in love i think so i've been holding myself back ben i mean she probably sees me as her dad but you're not her dad rochas you're a man who's found a good thing and appreciates it but what would she say i mean how would she even react to me saying such towards her i really don't know but you've got to think it through and decide if this is what you want to do i mean i've seen men have younger women in their lives and live well i know but how did i get myself into this mess how did i find myself here this is all your decision man i didn't push you to it remember i warned you instead so this time you don't blame me or charlie i'll sort it all out by myself i think i've got it this time around i'll talk to her i mean i've got to tell her all of this and no matter what she responds i'll still take care of her that's good enough your place is really beautiful paulina why didn't you tell me you come from a wealthy home I'm not from a wealthy home prince. But that outside, how's your mom's body? My mom is fine. And I told her about you and ever since then, she has been asking about you like when she will see you. Ah, uh, I'll definitely come by one of these days. You don't know how happy I am in my heart that you called me to come over. I have been waiting for your call like since forever. Prince, you know how to exaggerate stuff. You know, you should not leave a guest waiting. One of the top rules of accommodation. You should get back to the guest in the living room. He left already. I hope you are not offended that I brought a man to the house. Is he your lover? No, Rochas, I've told you I'm not involved with anyone. Paulina, there's something I want to tell you. I don't know how you are going to take it, but I'm just going to say out of my mind. Okay. We've been spending a lot of time together now, and I must tell you that I've enjoyed every moment we've spent. And I don't know how to put it, but I love you. What? Angel. I know, like I know I'm older than you, but I'm sure we can work something out. I mean, it's not like you must marry me or something. You must not even agree to it. Rochas, I have been waiting for you to say this. I also need to tell you something. I also love you, Rochas. I love you. You're a good man who has only cared about me and treated me right. I love you, Rochas. What did you say, Paulina? I love you, Rochas. I've loved you for a long while now, and I don't care if you're older than me. I love you. Oh my, Paulina, you just made me the happiest man in the world. I promise to treat you right and love you every day. Angel. Richards, Angel. Paulina, I... I am sorry. Is everything okay, Richards? You were lost for a moment and I kept on calling you. I'm sorry about that. I was just lost in my own thoughts. Richards, I didn't know you were coming in tonight. I thought you said you were heading home from the office. Yeah, I just wanted to check on you. Where is your guest? He's still in the living room. I wanted to check on you to make sure you didn't get anything wrong by what you saw. How can I get anything wrong? The way you went inside the room, I felt you were offended by seeing him. I'm not offended by anything. Why would you say so? I mean, this is your place. You can bring whomever you decide to. Okay, Rochas, if you say so. I should get going. And you know you are wrong to leave your guests in the living room all alone. You know that? Yes, I know that. But are you sure everything is okay, Rochas? Yeah, everything is fine. I'll be going home now, but I will be back. You are leaving already? I hope it's not because of Prince. It's not because of anyone. We'll see later when your guest has left. I'm sure there is something more to this that Rochas isn't telling me. You won't believe that all the stuff Brissy told me about Paulina is true. What are you talking about? Paulina is following men for money, George. Men old enough to be her grandfather. I don't believe what you are saying. What do I get from lying to you, George? I was at the eatery this afternoon and I saw someone like Paulina holding hands and laughing with an older man. Someone like her? I'm glad you said that, but I'm sure she's not the one. She's the one, George. I walked up to her table to clear my doubts and she was there with the shameless man. 
favor. BT has a video of Paulina and this same man that I saw today. Anyways, I talked to the man and told Paulina to come back home today. Are you serious on that you're telling me? I'm not lying, George. You know I've been having my own thoughts on Paulina. Like how she's able to take care of herself and do everything with just the money she gets from the eatery. But now I get the picture clearly. I don't believe Paulina will sleep with men for money. If it were a young man, it's okay. But an older man, I'm sure that man is older than you. Favor, I know you don't like Paulina and you definitely do everything to paint her bad in her eyes. I'm not lying to you, George. You can ask her about it if you don't believe me. But I'm sure she will lie to you as she always do. I need to see this video you claim Beauty has. That will be tomorrow. You know Beauty is not coming home today. She stayed back with her friends in the hostel to read. Yes, baby. She did. You know she's trying to get good grades so as to make you proud. I hope her grades come up with all the time she always spends in the hostel reading. I wonder why she can't read at home. It's more quiet here. Group reading helps her to understand more clearly. Have you forgotten when we were students? Is everything okay, Paulina? I saw your dad leave. You know he's not my dad, Prince. How many times do I have to tell you this? Then what is it to you, your sugar daddy? <laughs> I'm going to act as though I didn't hear that. I am just kidding. I know he's not that, but who is he, Paulina? You know you have not told me nothing on him yet. I don't think it's of importance who he is. I need to know. Remember that we were getting to know ourselves and we said no secrets. There is no rush in knowing a person. And even as friends, it's not everything we tell our friends, isn't that so? I see. But tell me something. Is it like having an affair with you? You are still asking if he's my sugar daddy. I am curious to know, Paulina. I need to know what I am up against here so I would know if I should step up my game or pull back. I'm still not going to answer the question. Paulina! You know, it's late already, Prince. I think you should start going home. And you know it's only your mom that's home. I know I said the wrong stuffs and I am sorry. I am sorry, babe. You didn't say anything wrong, Prince. It's just that it's getting late. I am sorry for asking about the older man. I just wanted to know that it. I have taken no offense against you, Prince. Why would you even think so? You just asked a harmless question. You won't believe what I was about to do, Eunice. Like, I don't even know why I thought I could do it. But something held me back. I didn't even say a word to her. Can you believe this? I wanted to say something to her, babe. I really wanted to, but... What am I even doing? Like what does a man like me want to do with a young girl like her? I don't even know if you are fine with what I'm about to do. You know she's even younger than Charlie, but she's a good girl and she's gone through a lot of stuff. But Eunice, she's good and she's nothing like Tessa. She's not self-centered or greedy. She takes good care of me. My darling Paulina. It's almost 11 and Rochas isn't here. He doesn't actually stay out this long. He should be here by now or is he feeling jealous on seeing Prince here? Cause it seemed different to me after seeing Prince. I was even with Prince asking me all those questions on Rochas. Hello Angel. I am here to go to bed. I'm waiting for you. Aren't you coming over anymore? Oh, I thought you were coming to spend the night here. I understand Rochas. Something is definitely wrong. I'm just so sure to this. From the way Rochas sounds on the phone, it's obvious he has something on his mind he's not telling me. Or he's pissed off by seeing Prince here. Good morning daddy. Good morning mommy. My darling beauty, and I was the whole tutorials. Everything was fine, mom. I barely had enough sleep. As we read all through the night, I'm even sleepy right now. I'm glad you're putting my effort towards your book. Just keep it up. Thank you, daddy. Mommy, is there breakfast for me? I didn't know you'd be coming this morning. I expected you'd come home later. No problem, mom. I'll make some noodles for myself. I'm going to shower. Before you do that, do you still have that video of Paulina in the club? Yes, I do. Do you want to see it? Yes. I told your dad about it last night after I saw Paulina with my own eyes. You saw her with a man, mom? I did. It was during broad daylight. I mean, they weren't even hiding their display of love. And I'm sure that man has a wife at home. Daddy, mommy isn't lying to you. Here is the video. Watch it for yourself. Your dad likes to doubt everything one says when it comes to Paulina. But I hope he can see it with his own eyes. Mommy, what did you do when you saw her with the man? Trust me, I went over there and talked Ashley to the two of them and I told her to come home before the end of today. I can't believe that, Paulina. I mean, there has to be a mistake. She's the one, George. I'm sure you can see her with your eyes. I still don't believe it. I need to go to work now. I have an early morning meeting. I won't say anything to you. Even with the video, you still don't believe. Daddy! I've had enough. We will talk when I'm back. So how did it go, man? No, I wanted to reach out, but I know you two might be all loving, loving, so I decided to chill. There was nothing like that, Ben. So after the proposal, you both didn't go to bed? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying nothing happened, Ben. No proposal or nothing. 
What? You mean you didn't propose to her? Come on, Rochas, you're joking, right? Or did she reject your offer? I didn't propose, Ben. I got over to her house and I saw her with another person. So I just changed my mind on the whole stuff. She was with a man? Her lover? I don't know if he's her lover, but I just realized I was probably doing the wrong thing, you know? Wanting to ask her to be with me. I don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, you are only human with your own feelings and emotions. You can tell her anything. That's past, Ben. I didn't say anything to her and I think it's better this way. You should have said something to her. Man, you can still talk to her. There's nothing to say, Ben. I wasn't even thinking straight when I said I was going to tell her everything about my feelings. I mean, she's still very young at her prime. And you're an old man, right? Like, like you're 70 years old, right? <laughs> you're not serious, Richards. See, if you want Polina, you've got to tell her about your feelings. I don't think I want her again. I'm only in her life to support her, and that's what I'm doing. I don't want to take advantage of her in any way. How does telling her you want to marry her mean you are taking advantage? I don't want to marry anyone. I should learn from the lesson with Tessa already. Whatever you say, man, I won't push on this matter. So how did it go with Prince? He came over to see me and we just talked about a lot of stuffs. He's still interested in me but I don't have any interest in him. Because of Richard, your super crush. Maybe something like that. But even when Richard wasn't in the picture, I didn't have such kind of feelings towards Prince. I like him as a friend. But you don't like Richard as that. Stop trying to twist my words. You know the way love is, Dockers. I think you love Richard because he has cared for you and shown you love in a different way as a father. Maybe. Keep your theories to yourself, Lucas. Rochas even came by last night. He saw me and Prince together. Really? Then what happened? He didn't say anything, but I noticed he was acting kind of different, Lucas. He tried to act all cool and fine with seeing Prince here, but his attitude was different. Alina, wait. I hope you have not told Rochas about your feelings. I haven't. We didn't even get the time to talk because he was in a haste to leave as soon as he got there and saw Prince. He looked uncomfortable to me. I think he might also be falling for you. I think so too, but he isn't saying anything about it. And I doubt that he would even say something about it. Then you should also act like you don't love him and focus on Prince. I don't feel anything towards Prince. You should learn to feel that way. I mean, give Prince a chance like you gave Rochas. Or is it because Prince can't afford you all this luxury? Come on, you should know me better than that. It's not even about the whole luxury stuff Angel has gotten for me. It's how my heart feels. I don't think so, but whatever. Just give Prince a chance or any other person. Rogers hasn't even called me yet. Don't call him too. Let him do the pursuit. My darling Paulina, I haven't heard her voice today and she hasn't called me either. What's wrong? Or is she angry with me that I didn't come back last night to see her? Is that the issue? I mean, normally she would have called me like three times now. Richard, you should have proposed to her. You should have just brought out the ring and did the right thing. Good afternoon, sir. Larry. Oh my god. Larry, what a present surprise. How have you been, sir? And how is your health? I'm sorry. I'm fine and I feel much better, son. When did you come back to Nigeria? I just go back yesterday and I told myself that I had to come to say hello to you and make sure you are doing fine. That's what I feel of you, my son. How is Charlie? He's doing fine, sir. He plans on coming home soon as well. He always plans to come, but never comes. I'm sorry for Antony's loss and I'm sorry I couldn't come home with Charlie. I had to stay back and watch over things in England. It's okay, son. I understand you totally. So what do I ask the secretary to bring for you? Nothing, sir. I just came to check on you. After how many years? So you want to say hello to me and disappear without taking a drink with me? That's not going to happen. <laughs> okay, sir. Hey, you don't have to leave tonight. You should stay back. I have to go, Jesse. My mom has been calling me continuously. You're not a baby. When will she realize that? I mean, she should know about me by now. Of course she knows about us. It's just that I said I was going to read in school. Just come out clean to her that you're spending the night over at your lover's place. I can say that, but not now. Exams and tests are fast approaching. Come on, babe. Please, don't leave me tonight. Stay back with me. I promise you that I will do that tomorrow, but today I need to go home. You're not a child. I hope you realize this. Rogers hasn't reached out to me. It's been a full day already. He didn't even pick up my calls. What's wrong with him? Is he still pissed about Prince or what? Because I don't know why he's reacting towards me this way. Prince, what a surprise. Welcome. Thank you. I was on my way to work when I decided to stop by and say hello. That's so thoughtful of you. How's your mom doing? She's fine. You know she keeps asking me when she would see you. He 
You she will see me soon. Are you going to sit for some minutes or are you in a haste? We could sit for a bit. Have you had breakfast already or should I take you out? I had bread and tea. Do you care for some? I also had some. Paulina, I have been thinking now that you are no longer going to work. Why don't you try to get something doing? I applied for the university, Prince. I thought I mentioned that. I know, but you know the way things are in our country. One can apply to the university and not get the admission. I know, but this time around, I think I'll get in. You know you can be able to pay for your tuition fees and take care of yourself. That's true. And I hope you know that I will also help you with some money for your school to show you that I support what you are doing. Let me get it all, Prince. Angel, Angel, wait. Angel, Angel, wait. Desert stars in the night sky. Gentle and wildlife.